just like what One Direction said in one of their songs, just how fast the night changes. Exactly. Just how fast the night changes echoes the relentless metamorphosis of media. In the same breath, we witness a swift transition from the analog era to the digital age, which we now know traditional media to new media. Have you ever wondered how the fast growth of media in our society today is affecting our lives? From shaping our perspectives to influencing our daily choices? Before we dive in into our report, which is New Media Challenges for Convergence, let's define briefly first what is media. So media is the plural of medium. Marshall McLuhan, a Canadian media theorist and scholar, is famous for his phrase, the medium is the message. Media plays a critical role in our contemporary society, serving as a powerful tool for communication, information dissemination, and entertainment. What is traditional media? Traditional media refers to conventional forms of communication and information dissemination that have been in existence for several decades. Examples of traditional media include print media, magazine, newspapers, broadcast media, television and radio, outdoor advertising, billboards, cinema, movies, direct mail, brochures, flyers, and catalogs, telephony, landline platforms, face-to-face -face communication, conference and seminars and also new media in this digital age new media encompasses various technological platforms such as social media blogs and blogging platforms podcasts online news outlets streaming services interactive website and web applications the difference between new media and traditional media is an essential topic to understand in today's technological era New media refers to digital forms of communication, including websites, social media platforms, blogs, and mobile applications. So here is a broader comparison of the two types of media. So, ever wondered what happens when words, sounds, and images collide in a digital symphony? Explore the captivating universe of multimedia convergence, where every pixel, and note join forces to craft an experience and every element converges to tell a story beyond imagination. In multimedia, convergence refers to the integration and merging of different forms of media, such as the text, video, audio, and interactive elements, into a unified and cohesive user experience. It involves the seamless blending of various media types to create a rich and interconnected presentation enhancing engagement and delivering a comprehensive message or entertainment. Convergence among people involves the alignment of various perspectives, interests, or efforts. It's the process of individuals or groups moving closer to a shared understanding of the benefits and drawbacks of new media in relation to convergence and globalization. So number one, we have increased connectivity. Naku kaya ang help ang new media in terms of connectivity because we can instantly send a message or make a call through social media platforms. For example is, your loved ones is nasa far away. It's more convenient na lang to connect and communicate with them. So number two is access information. For an instance, gusto ka makabalo about the latest news. So with just a few taps on your phone, you can instantly access from various sources like news articles, live updates, or even to social media. So it will allow you to stay informed about what is happening sa mga palibot. So number three, cultural exchange. It enables the sharing and exchange of you know, cultural context. So now let's talk about the drawbacks and disadvantage of new media. Number one is information overload. So with this, maglisod na tao filter through and identify ang kung credible or accurate contents tungod sa kadaghan sa mga information. And number two is spread of misinformation. So nowadays, dali na mo circulate ang balita with just one wrong click. It can possibly contribute to the rapid spread of misinformation and fake news. And number three is digital divide. So this means not everyone have equal access to the benefits of new media technologies. So it can be due to the factors like status, silo locations, or um, they don't have a lot of resources. So important ka ayong mga sabda na to ang mga benefits and disadvantages of new media. Okay, it will help us to make informed choices and understanding both sides of the coin empowers us to make the best use of new media. Always remember, think before you click. How can you navigate the ever-expanding realm of media wisely, ensuring that our consumption habits foster critical thinking, well-informed perspectives, and a positive impact on our understanding of the world? Together, we're not just navigating classrooms, we're sculpting a collective narrative that echoes with the harmony of our diverse experiences.